What's up, everybody? Back from my week off. Good to be back in the 740 The Game Master Control. Was up in New England, caught a Sox game, my first trip to Fenway since the Buffett curse was implemented a little over a year ago. Paul O'Neill still nestled under his seat on the third baseline over there, doing well, doing his job. The Sox and Dodgers complete one of the biggest trades in Major League Baseball history. Let me break it down. Let me give you my opinion on this situation. First off, the Boston Red Sox have officially waved the white flag. We understand that. We know that. This is going to be a vastly different team. Very surprised to see them throwing the towel like this. Shed the contract to Carl Crawford. Smart move. I think he'll bounce back in L.A. It wasn't going to work out in Boston. Uh, Josh Beckett, obviously, not the pitcher he once was. Shed that money. Adrian Gonzalez, one of the better players in baseball, one of the best hitters out there. Gold Glover. Don't love that move, but I understand you got to move that if you if you want them to take those salaries. You got They got to get something back. Red Sox get some big time prospects. We all know prospects are crapshoots. We'll see how those guys turn out. But for the Boston Red Sox, I think right now you're looking at a total rebuild. And if you're a fan, you got to understand that that that's where you're at right now. I think I think you look at the short term winners. I think the Dodgers are doing a, did a lot better in this trade than people think. Carl Crawford will bounce back out there in L.A. Much more laid back atmosphere. I think the ballpark suits him a lot better. He doesn't need the Green Monster in Fenway. He's a he has a, he has great speed. Slaps the ball around. We'll see what happens to the Red Sox, but a couple of years ago, I remember every analyst talking about this great team they put together with Carl Crawford and Adrian Gonzalez and how now they're the powerhouse in the AL East, and now they're just struggling to stay out of the cellar with that same roster. They had also gotten John Lackey back then, so we'll see how they spend this money that they saved. I know one thing. They won't be competitive the rest of this year. They probably won't be com that competitive next year, and the Boston Red Sox are in a total rebuild now, and for the first time in a long time, Sox fans, they have completely waved the white flag. Good to be back, and I'll talk to you guys later.